Welcome to Land a House. In this video, I'm collaborating with the Green Acre Workshop to make this circular mountain sign for my son. So if you're interested in this build, then continue watching. To begin this project, I'm going to cut a two foot by two foot square out of this three quarter inch plywood. So let me mark that out real quick. All right. Now I can just use these guidelines that I've made with my straight edge and find this two foot by two foot square. Very nice. And now let's cut that out. Now that I have my plywood at two foot by two foot, it's time to make this into a circle. To do that, I'm gonna do a couple different things. Use a pencil and a straight edge from each corner to find the center point. And then I'm gonna use my table saw with this very simple circle cutting jig here. It's just a board with a piece of OSB on the back that is the thickness of the groove in my table saw. Let me show you how we do all of this. I have the side facing up that is gonna be against the wall. And that's important because I'm about to draw pencil marks on it here. So I'm just going to match up this straight edge from corner to corner like that. Hold it down. Run a pencil across here. And that gives a diagonal there. I'm going to flip it over. Do the same thing on this angle. And that's going to be our center point right there. I have an eighth inch bit here on my drill. I'm gonna go down just a little bit on the very center of that uh, cross right there. No need to go all the way through. And that's gonna be big enough for this nail to just rest in there. And that's important for just a moment. Now I'm gonna set my circle cutting jig here into the table saw and I want to measure out one foot from the edge of the blade on this line here that's in the middle of my jig. So just measuring out one foot and now I'm going to use the drill with that one, in, one eighth inch bit to drill all the way through here so I can place the nail in. Flip this over real quick. And so on the back side, I've got a one and a quarter inch nail. I'm just gonna plop that in there, just like that. Now I'm able to set the board on top of that nail and it will keep it exactly where it needs to be to make our cut here. I have the two foot by two foot plywood on top of that nail on my jig here. And you'll notice I have it diagonal. I want to make four straight passes here and cut the corners off. So I'm going to cut one, bring it back, turn the board, cut again. So let me show you what I mean by that. So I'm just backing this out. Let me get to the next diagonal here. And then I'm going to run this through again. And I'm going to continue this on all of the different corners. As you can see, I've cut off all four corners and that means we now have an octagon. So if you're trying to make a stop sign, that's how you do it. Since we want this to be a circle, I'm going to rotate this again and expose the new corner here and there's going to be eight of these that I need to chop off so uh, we're just going to keep whittling this down until we have it totally smooth. I'm going to back this up, move to the next corner and uh, keep going until I have all eight of these cut down. Now that all of those have been cut off it's time to do the spin on this nail. 
and let the blade eat off everything in a circle. And there we have it, the finished circle. Now I noticed that this edge right here is just slightly flat because I didn't uh, measure correctly, but a little tiny bit of sanding and you won't even know that that's an issue. So there we go, that's our circle piece. Now that I have the circle cut out, I need to install a fastener on the back. I'm going to be using this keyhole fastener and that will allow a screw to fit in here quite nicely to hold this up. One issue is that a screw is going to have a slightly larger head than will fit into this piece. So I'm just going to take my drill and just lightly drill out so that the screw will fit into this keyhole nicely. There we go, that'll do nicely. Next step is just to use the screws that came with this to attach it to the circle. The next step in this build is to head over to the Greenacre Workshop and see how Sam and Angela are building the mountains and trees for this build. Big thanks to Sam and Angela for cutting out the trees and mountains. I don't think that I could have done the job that they did. Let's go inside and glue the mountains and trees to this and we will complete the sign. Hey, you have to use a brush. Oh. Green. Here you go. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you've enjoyed it, hit that thumbs up button and be sure to subscribe. Do check out the Green Acre Workshop in the link down below and I will see you in the next video. Bye.